and this call will focus on the prevention, early detection, and treatment of lung cancer. Cancer is the number one uh, killer for Asians. The earlier the treatment and the, the better the survival. I would like to share the story of a 62-year-old Vietnamese man when his friends and family, um, children and grandchildren get together, um, how they have fun is that the woman would make food and the men would chat, smoke cigarettes. For the past five years, um, he has actually quit smoking. This class is quick. It's about 30 minutes. And then after the class, they then have to have a one-on-one -on -one appointment with um, a specialist. And it's usually myself or my partners. A 72-year-old Chinese woman, other than her asthma, which was very well controlled with her inhalers. She was in good shape. She never smoked, she never drank. We are more genetically susceptible than some, some of us. And so if you know what you're looking for, then, then you can be a little bit more aggressive about the imaging. It's been actually shown in the literature in past things, 20%. So 20% of all lung cancers are actually not revolving around smoking at all. These are people that don't smoke at all. And then when we look at the, the 20% that are non-smokers, the majority of them um, are Asian. Non-smokers can also get lung cancer. Follow up with your physicians um, if you're having any lingering symptoms, chronic cough especially. Please, please, please get screened. For Asians, when we think females, non-smoker, lung cancer, that's usually what we see. That's not 100%, right? Females that don't smoke with lung cancer at higher risk for Asians. And then there are Asian, um, you know, male counterparts. Often we see a lot of Asian males that smoke or have a history of smoking um, and they are high risk for getting lung cancer. They're at high risk for not following up. They're at high risk for not getting lung cancer screening.